So let me, let me take off on that piece for the three of you, and then we're going to get to the audience quickly after that. So we, as we were talking back, backstage, your questions will be as good or better than mine, so we'll get to you. Um, how do you measure success in the future? So um, what you're talking about is a, is a learner-centered or a child-centered definition of success. An employer might define success differently, a government leader differently. Um, I'll just say from my own perspective that all the, so, so many of the economic metrics that we use in the world and make decisions based upon really don't reflect the experience that many humans have in their communities. Yeah. Um, and therefore, GDP doesn't matter. Unemployment rates don't even matter to folks um, if they've got a terrible job or they hate their job or, or the, there's a concentration of wealth and there's lack of mobility. So if we're going to have some um, combination of both human success metrics, community, economic, what do you think we ought to be, what, at least what questions should we be asking ourselves? Eduardo, what do you, what do you think about the success in that regard? That's, uh, I, I truly believe uh, in, in about this mix of hard skills and soft skills. Uh, I try to, to raise my children and, uh, on on the idea of they have to learn the science, as you were mentioning, uh, but about questioning and pretty much also living in community. See, everything that we are seeing happening is polarization and this uh, people not listening. We we're talking this in the back, people not listening to each other. Like everybody now is, uh, 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 is writing. Uh, everybody writes on the social medias. I was telling this story that 20 years ago I was writing, I was living outside Brazil, writing to my father and to my friends. The only one that would write me, write me back was my father. Uh, my friends never wrote me because people don't like to, to write. But now everybody writes, but writes without really thinking. In 140 characters. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But yeah, the social emotional skills that even Heckman this uh, Nobel Prize from Chicago, he's uh, uh, doing a lot of studies and showing that social emotional skills are the skills for the 21st century. And I think it's something that we really have to, to look at it. And you could measure that, that would be both a, a human metric and a, and a business. It's metric. harder to, than to measure, mm -hmm. but it's something that's gonna make a huge difference. I think uh, uh, the economists, there are probably a lot of uh, economists here, they will find a way to, to measure, as uh, already Hackman's doing, the social emotional skills. Juliet, how, how do you think about the, the measurement of success? If uh, we talk all the time about how the different sectors need to work together, government, business, civil society, but seemingly we don't always agree on the measure of success. We go back to our institutional metrics. How, how should we think about it? Speaking from the context of uh, living, working, and being an African, I would start by saying the degree of good health for me would be critical. There's been nothing more painful than to see children with access to education, especially as youngsters, who are unable to learn because of their suboptimal health. That is extremely painful to observe because it's preventable. So one of the metrics would be an understanding of health, an ability to measure the health knowledge of people of childbearing age, perhaps. That might be the way to look at it. But that said, I think there needs to be a much greater investment, particularly on the continent, in STEM education. Because I think we have to build persons, young persons, with an intellectual curiosity of what's going on around them. Being, it, being it in agriculture, technology, across the waters. And a sense of being able to feel competence, a sense of uh, self-competence, uh, to be able to address difficult problems, create solutions. I mean, that essentially is the definition of an entrepreneur. 
Um, and we do tend to have a, a very high entrepreneurial spirit on the African continent. So I do think that within a cultural context, stem cell education, along with good health, an investment in both, a serious commitment and investment in both, I think would result in successful children yeah. from the using the parameters. And therefore, successful employees or exactly. workers, whatever they decide Precisely. to do. Chitaranjan, how would you define success? So, um, I, for me, I think the definition of success does go quite a bit beyond whether employers are happy with them or not. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And I think much of the stuff that we have heard since morning today uh, points a very interesting um, dynamic in our, across the world. We are suddenly discovering that dialogue is impossible in our society. We are suddenly discovering that polarization is so much easier. We are suddenly discovering that it's easy for people to subject young people to mind control games and subjugation of their ideas and so on and so forth. To me, it seems that our societies are threatened at this time with the inability of the, not just the young people, but even adults, uh, I mean, we've, we've, we are there too, uh, of, of, of people to see things as they are, to be able to engage constructively and with a view to finding uh, a relationship. Uh, we don't have we're progressively moving away from that. And to me, it's, to me it seems that if, if we have to really bring back coherence into our societies, if we have to bring back meaning into our lives, and I'm talking now not just our lives, but the lives of people 40 years, 50 years, 60 years from now, I think my measure of success would be, are young people able to see things as they are without being swayed by every uh, next uh, demagogue who comes along, that's one. And do they have the capacity to sit and dialogue with each other? Do they have the capacity to consider alternative viewpoints? Do they have the ability to uh, find, to seek at least, if not find, common ground and so on? I think that's what I would look at as measures of success for education today.